Hey guys, oftentimes when you're giving a presentation, you're going to want to use a bell curve as part of your illustration, but usually what people do is they simply go to Google Image Search, they try and find an appropriate image, and they just whack it in. And I'm not really so cool with that. I mean, it is actually a breach of copyright after all, and quite frankly, it is more fun to go and draw your own from scratch, which we're going to do today in PowerPoint. So let me show you. Nothing more special than a regular PowerPoint. You're going to end up with something like this, uh, but what you do is you give yourself a new slide, you go control A, control A, delete all of that so you've got a clean slate. Then what you do is you grab yourself a rectangle tool and you're going to hold down shift and drag out a perfect square. Shift is going to make sure that it comes out as a perfect square rather than as a rectangle. Now you want to duplicate this three times. You're going to hold down control and shift at the same time which will enable you to drag out a new one. I'm going to put that right next to it. One more, control and shift click and drag, let go. We've got ourselves three perfect squares. Great. What we do then is we go to the isosceles triangle and we go to this corner here and we drag it out. And again, what we want to do is hold down shift. So we have a triangle which has the base of two of those squares and its height is equal to its base. Beautiful. Now I might color this differently just so you can see what the hell's going on here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that triangle. Just go down control, click and drag, give it a different color just so we can see what we're doing. Pop it on top like that. And I'm going to resize the triangle to about here. So now it's got half the height of the triangle underneath. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to drag it out sideways like this so it's now double the base. Double the base, half the width drag it down, hold down shift so that it translates directly down. Then what I want to do is delete those squares because we don't need them anymore. Move that across into the center. Then what I want to do is I want to click onto the curve tool which is just found here under drawing. And I want to click on the very edge, click once, click once where they join, click once at the peak, click once where they join, double click at the end to finish the curve. Beautiful. Then what I can do is just delete the triangles. Boom, we are finished. All you need to do now is simply fill it with a color, like so, and maybe give it a decent outline. Make it a little bit thicker so you can see what's going on. There you go, perfect bell curve. If you found this helpful, why don't you give me a like and maybe a subscribe. If you've got any comments or any other questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Happy studies, guys.